hello friends welcome back again on this channel today we are going to uh, learn random forest analysis on the diabetes data if you missed my previous video you should go there and see how we have done prediction analysis of the same data diabetes data with the help of logistic model so if i describe the about the data this is simply a diabetes data which is provided by the national institute of the diabetes and we have to do predictions based on the data given that the patient has diabetes or not if i talk about the columns we will have the pregnancy glucose blood pressure skin thickness insulin bmi body mass index diabetes age and outcome so let us start our model today we are going to do random forest on this data let import our pandas, numpy and matplotlib. This is basic libraries. You have to do that. And our database. I have saved my database on this file, this folder path. You can do this anywhere where you want. If I see the uh, up short form of the data, so I can see the first five lines with the help of this code data dot add and some columns. Column by judge, we have already described which pregnancy, glucose, blood pressure, skin thickness, PMI, diabetes, age, and the outcomes. If we talk the data info, we can see simply the data is contains 768 rows with no null. There is no null or any data or any blank or missing data cells here. Data type I can see pregnancy, uh, intanger, intanger, intanger. It's a BMI float, 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 right? And I am sorry, you know what is float. It's in point decimal data, right? If I see the simple describe, I can see with this help code data dot describe, and the a small window will come to in front of me. So on a simple page, I can see all the columns. They call this count, mean, standard deviation, minimum, top three. It's a twenty five percent, fifty and seventy five percent and the max now we have to generate the models before model i want to remind you if you miss my previous video to see the correlation i just want to show you here how we have done that correlation in a beautiful manner with the same data set with the help of this code we have plotted that correlation graphs we have seen all the relationship column by between glucose and the diabetes or whatever columns we need we have seen the relationship between the age and diabetes and we have seen the relationship between age and with the BMI or you can change the columns name in a given code file, right? Font size, color, whatever you want, you can give that. And you can see describe and the correlation matrix. We have already covered that things in our previous video in the logistic regression analysis. Today we are going to learn only things that model it's a random forest. So let's decide our X. I will take every columns as X accept the outcomes and i will take y it's a dependent column y as outcomes let import the uh, our train and test uh, from the sks model learn we have to and we have to decide our database into train and test i'm doing the 70 percent 80 percent if you maximum you can do 80 or 20 or whatever you need if i print the shape of my data so I can see the total rows of 768 has divided into 537 and 231. 537 is 70% of the data and 231 is 30% of the data. Same, I have, can see the shape of my the training data, Y shape. Now let import the then for this classifier from this SQLearn the symbol and fit our model. With the random forest zero in the row number 45 i have written my model with the help of train and y train and i have generated the prediction result based on the x test now I just want to see what is the prediction i have received from this model random forest how this is accurate because i know i don't know I, there is no control to check what is if this is predicted as a one true or false this is true or not right so let's import all the diet for the 
SKL matrix, it's a confusion matrix, accuracy score and the plot confusion matrix. If I show the my confusion matrix, I can see it's a 140, 17, 34 and 40. And accuracy score is almost 77 or you can say the 78 percentage. It means my prediction which I have done here based on my model rendering for this, it's showing me 0.78. It's a 77.9 percentage right result right if i see the classifier it's just a plot of that uh, confusion matrix i can see the two values 140 17 34 and 40. in the random forest if i see the estimator so i can see uh, what is the estimators in this code if you see the end i have given the 10 models it's a 100 200 300 accuracy I have given the balance I the n right so if I talk about the n estimator this is the number of the trees you want to build before the taking the maximum botting on average predictions here I have taken the number of trees as a 10 so I can see my prediction results with the accuracy this will happen right in the first tree I can see it's a, it was 79% then it was 77 77 again 78 76 it's a different right so the best things I can select if I, if I talk about the 100 if I take the 100 as a maximum line so I will get the accuracy of 79% that is the maximum right so thank you guys you can follow this sheet you can download this and uh, if you miss that uh, logistic regression analysis this is great you should go and check I am giving that link and you can download both files thank you thank you so much bye